Hi, this is a question on tree diagrams from the Edexcel June 2019 A-Level Statistics exam. Three bags, A, B and C, each contain one red marble and some green marbles. Bag A contains one red marble and nine green marbles only. Bag B contains one red and four green marbles. Bag C contains one red and two green marbles. Sasha selected random one marble from bag A. If he selects a red marble, he stops selecting. If the marble is green, he continues by selecting at random one marble from bag B. If he selects a red marble, he stops selecting. If the marble is green, he continues by selecting at random one marble from bag C. For part A, draw a tree diagram to represent this information. The probability of red is 1 tenth, the probability of green is 9 tenths. Now, we have an important detail here. If red, he stops. So we are not supposed to continue the branches of red. If he selects a green, he continues. So we will continue the branches of green. But he's going to pick from bag B. The branches are red and green again, with probabilities 1 fifth and 4 fifth. Again, if it's red, it stops, so we are not going to continue the branches of red. If it's green, he will continue to pick from the third bag. The probabilities of these are 1 third for red and 2 third for green. For part B, find the probability that Sasha selects 3 green marbles. Well, there is only one way of selecting three green marbles. If he's going to select green from bag A, from bag B, and then from bag C. To solve this, we times the probabilities along the branches. 9 tenth times 4 fifth times 2 third. This is equal to 72 over 150. When solving probability questions, any equivalent fractions will give you the full marks. So, no need to simplify it. Part C. Find the probability that Sasha selects at least one marble of each color. There are two ways that he can do this. If we are picking a green, then a red, the probability of this is 9 over 10 times 1 over 5. And another way, if we are picking a green, a green, and then a red, the probability of this is 9 over 10 times 4 over 5 times 1 over 3. So our answer is 21 over 50. Given that Sasha selects a red marble, find the probability that he selects it from bag B. Here we have a conditional probability, given that he selects a red marble. So we are looking at the world of the red, so the denominator of this will be the probability of picking a red. And the numerator will be the intersection of picking a red with picking it from bag B. There are three ways that we can pick a red marble. So the probability of red is going to be 1 tenth if you are picking from bag A plus 9 tenths times 1 fifth if you are picking from bag B and 9 tenths times 4 fifths times 1 third if you pick the red from bag C. The probability of picking a red from bag B or in other words, the intersection of red with bag B that's 9 out of 10 times 1 fifth. Going back to the denominator, the probability of red can also be written as 1 minus probability of red not happening, which we have already worked out in part B. Solving this fraction completely will give us the probability, which is 9 out of 26.